Usa. Three, four, one. One, two, three. What the heck is bothering you? Relax, relate, release. Hey, what's up? This is Reverend Derek of RevDerek.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Um, just finished watching The Wiz and trying to, you know, I got my sage, got my baby Buddha and everything out, my candles. Trying to just relax, relate, and release. Um, trying to calm down because I'm pissed. I'm so pissed. Let me tell you why. I'm pissed because black people, my people, my color, are constantly complaining and griping know the B word with the ING at the end about everything just everything nothing's ever good enough and so we compare and we complain and we contrast everything and so instead of just watching and enjoying or you know giving tonight's broadcast of the Wiz a chance people just complain complain and so in the month of November um, my worship series theme was no more November so what we were looking at things that we don't want to do any more of in 2016 that we were guilty of doing in 2014 or 15 14 13 12 you know forever never never and so first thing we looked at was no more shame no more guilt no more clutter, talking about physical clutter, psychological clutter, emotional clutter. Um, then we looked at no more complaining. And this past Sunday, what was this past Sunday? Of course it's the one. No more, was it complacency? I don't remember. Shh, don't tell my church. Anyway, so no more complaining. And I did that for several reasons because that's what God led me to do. And it was also because so many of my people in my church, some of them I just hate to see coming because it's always a complaint, always something negative. And I realized we're just, we're just in this negative condition where we judge everything. Part of that is because of shows like American Idol, shows like Law and Order. You know, we got an hour to try to judge and figure out who did it. And it's just so negative and it's such a burden to to constantly live in that and to constantly think those thoughts and to constantly constantly put ourselves down and put other people down with judgment and with complaining and so i enjoyed the list tonight i really enjoyed it um it was on dvd i'll buy it i'll play it for my nieces i have three nieces seven three and how old is the other one 11 months i think she, yeah she'll be yeah, next month is her birthday. And I'm excited. I'm excited that the story uh, that I grew up on is taking new shapes for a new generation. And I enjoy it. And so for all those negative people and negative, negative, negative people who have so much to say, my question is, what the hell are you doing? Like, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? What dreams are you chasing? What aspirations are you trying to accomplish? What books are you writing what businesses are you starting what positive change are you creating in the world or are you sitting back and complaining and talking about everybody else who's doing something i saw something beautiful tonight i saw an all-black cast i saw beautiful imagery and costumes and scenes and music and vibrance and i was proud of that and i was proud tonight and was it perfect i don't know Maybe not, but it was something, and I enjoyed it. And I will continue to support that kind of thing. And I encourage people to do that. I mean, it's not like I'm saying you have to like everything, you have to love everything, and you have to be super excited and joyful about everything. But must you always complain about everything? I mean, there are certain people that I just block on Facebook because I get so freaking tired of every day. It's always something. I mean, it's like, dang, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Shit. Anyway, well, people complain about me cussing sometimes. So, anyway, take care. Have a pleasant evening. I'm about to go get a cookie. I know it's too late, but 
it's the holiday time. And I tweeted earlier that 95% of my yearly cookie consumption takes place between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And that's why I go to the gym so much. I don't worry about losing weight this time of year. I just don't want to gain any. Take care. Be blessed. Peace. Rev Derek. RevDerek.com. Pick up my book, God Loves Me and So Do I. Mm, bye.